I'll do whatever you want me to do, Hardy. I told I just you want that. You to, I just want you to tell me that you want to win. Hardy's third reign as head of household secured his and Nicole's powerful standing in the house for one more week. Only two more, Hardy. Only two more. Thank you. As nominations loomed, resentment grew towards the forceful pair. Hardy has bullied around a lot of people. The most viable threat right now, as I see it, is Bunky. Hardy's decision was not a surprise. Will, I nominated you. And Bunky, my boy. Will was offered a get-out-of-jail-free card and took it. If you give me your word that if you win HOH, you won't nominate both Nicole and I, we'll keep you here for another week. All right. Fears of betrayal plagued Nicole. Can you get HOH and put up me in already? I swear to God, I'm kidding listen, you. Listen, listen. While Bunky cautioned that the evil doctor still lurks. I'm just saying that I think you're going to regret having Will at the end. Hardy did not heed Bunky's warnings. I choose to evict Bunky. Will, Nicole, and Monica climbed into the most critical head of household competition to date. You must keep one hand on your key at all times. The last one still on the bed with their hand still on their key is the next head of household. Who will outlast the others to become this week's head of household? Find out tonight on Big Brother 2. may not leave the bed for any reason. And again, your feet may not touch the ground. You may not sleep. And aside from water, whatever you have on the bed now is all you will have until the game is over. Good luck. I'm on the <laughs> I'm well, nominating this is funny his to ass. You. <laughs> I'm nominating him. <laughs> How do y'all feel about rotating it that way just a teeny bit? No? I'm really comfortable, actually. Okay. I'm sorry. I was comfortable, well, too. Well, get your you damn leg off of but me. But you know what? I was real comfortable till you got that damn pillow, too. That's right. You I'm... can put your legs right over my head if you want. Just don't, cro don't close my eyes. Because <laughs> before, I was able to do that, and now I can't do that. Let me get That's not going to work. Monica, when they were like, when Julie's like, Monica, what thing has kept you in the house this long? And she, you're like, you know, loyalty, or you're like honesty and, uh, what else did you say? And truthfulness or something? Mm -hmm. and then she was like, Will, and I thought she was going to be like, what kept you in the house this long? I was going to be like, dishonesty. <laughs> say exactly the opposite. From breaking my heart. I'll tell you what, I'm going to sit what? up for now because you know why? I'm Just so lean on this here, so I'm going to put a dent in your hand. Might as well sit up now because I ain't tired. And all the more with my in my I would have worn a jacket. The HOH this week is, is the biggest, most important HOH as far as I'm concerned since I walked in this house. If I don't win it, that pretty much signs my own death warrant out of here, I think. I think Nicole's still in the game um, for a variety of reasons. One, being luck. Um, two, being her association with Hardy. He's kept her here every week that he's been here. Hardy and Nicole are a team in the house. It's no secret. Everybody knows it. If you don't know it, you can see it. The power has to be taken away from Hardy and Nicole because they want to be the last two. It has to be you. Believe me, I know. Will against you in HOH, I'd put all my money on you. I will literally kill myself trying whatever it is to win that. We'll see what happens, but it's very, very important. Very important for the game to end the way I foresee it for her to win. She knows that. I know that. It's understood. I am so afraid that if I don't win HOH on Thursday that Hardy is going to be very, no! very, no! very angry with me. And that's not good. It's a banner plane. Oh, my oh. God. Hardy! Hardy! Okay, does that say WCW? Nicole and Will, no? Nicole and Monica? Betrayed. No. What? That's Cole, Will, and Hot Tub in, in Hot Tub and betrayed hurt Jeff. Oh, that's what it says. What? Hardy! I basically went inside to 
to start uh, making myself dinner. And apparently a banner plane had flown over saying something about Nicole and Will in the hot tub, disgrace and hurt. What is that? Go away, go away. And it was signed by apparently Jeff, which is Nicole's husband. <laughs> oh, geez, that's bull. Exactly. I was there. Nicole, talk to me. Say something. It's my marriage, oh, Marty. So just, I, I know that, but look. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently what had happened is something was misconstrued on the internet uh, about what had happened in the hot tub between Will and Nicole. And her husband sent his banner, uh, apparently believing uh, these rumors. Big Brother contacted him, and she was able to speak directly to her husband, Jeff, via the internet. Jeff, <sighs> if you're watching, you're really scaring me. Last night, all of us, all of us. were in the hot tub. Nothing happened last night. Nothing happened in that hot tub. Everybody here knows how much I love you. She loves you a lot, Jeff. Don't worry, she ain't doing that. She ain't supposed to be doing it. And I just thank you, Monica. And I live for you and us and our family and our life. You know, I don't think Nicole's husband has uh, any reason to be concerned. You know, what went on is just innocent flirting. This scenario and situation was a family emergency of the utmost severity. Is her husband okay? Does he understand that nothing happened? Does he support her? Does he love her? Can I have a Kleenex? Yeah, I get you. That information was conveyed by Big Brother to Nicole, and I think Big Brother did only what was appropriate. You better hurry up, because I'm about to pee. It has been hours since your last good meal, and months since you've seen your last favorite fast food restaurant. Doesn't a big cheeseburger or a veggie burger and a side of fries washed down by a thick chocolate shake sound good? No. No. I'm lactose intolerant. Okay. Uh, at this very moment, there is a chauffeur-driven limousine waiting outside to bring you to the drive-thru of your favorite fast food restaurant. <laughs> All you have to do is get off the bed and take this coupon from me. Your ride is waiting. No, thank you. <laughs> She's going. Yeah. Okay. I don't think they're going for it, but I'll sit here. It's a damn shame. Winning head a household competition means a lot to me because I will be in control of my destiny in this house. You know, I pick and choose my battles. Otherwise, I would have gone way before this. They think I don't have a chance to win. They want to dog me out, so they got rid of you. When Krista left, it was a turning point for me in the game because I knew that they didn't believe that I can win HOH or believe that I had a chance. Fudge! Monica with zero. I think that Monica is still in the game uh, because she is so laid back. She's not perceived as a threat. I want to right some wrongs in here, but I must win HOH in order to do it. A couple times during the HOH contest, I uh, noticed that Nicole was positioned very precariously on the waterbed, especially uh, in light of the fact that Will felt it necessary to keep moving around and repositioning himself. Yeah. I think I'm going to try to pee off the bed. Right. OK, well, go back to the corner you were at before. <laughs> I better try to hold it a while longer still. Dude, ow. Blocks. Hold Too on. comfy. Yep. I don't know, try that. So, and do the blocks. Pretty good. Hey, you're taking it off my knee. I had it first. Your hand was all the way off the thing. I saw it. I'm sorry, that was my fault, but I totally saw it. I'm sorry. What? You took the sheet off my thing and I took it off. I moved the sheet and she went to grab the sheet and pulled her hand off. You're out. Oh, shit. See, I didn't even... Oh, God. I'm sorry. That was my fault. 